Greetings everyone and welcome to this video on plots for the meta-analysis. Building on the previous video, we will now proceed to explore the plots that we can obtain on doing a meta-analysis. In a forest plot, the effect sizes found for each study are marked with a square mark along the x-axis, one study below the other. The size of the marks is proportional to the weight the study has in determining the combined effect size estimate. In addition to the individual effect size estimates, the meta-analytically combined effect size estimate is indicated by the diamond shape at the bottom of the bottom line of the plot. The width of the diamond indicates the 95% confidence intervals for the estimate. These confidence intervals for each study are also indicated in the plot with whiskers. In the case of homogeneity of the effect size, these intervals are expected to cover the combined effect size approximately 95% of the time. The fact that this is not the case here, only 2 out of these 10 study level confidence intervals contain the diamond shape, is yet another indication that the fixed effect analysis does not give an accurate summary of the effect sizes found in this body of literature. On the right side of the plot, these statistics are also displayed numerically. The left hand side shows the study labels. Another plot of likely interest is the funnel plot used for the assessment of publication bias. This plot studies precision, that is, one upon standard error against observed effect sizes. In general, this plot is expected to be symmetrical in the vertical axis around the meta-analytic compounded effect size estimate. Also, the points are expected to lie in a confidence triangle 95% of the time, as seen by the black shaded area. An excessive amount of points outside this interval can result from heterogeneity in the fixed effects model and non-normally distributed between study differences in random or mixed effects models. Asymmetry of the funnel plot is often interpreted as evidence of publication bias, which is seen in our study by the funnel plot here. The plot produced for the trim and fill analysis includes several subplots. A forest plot with the adjusted effect size estimates, a funnel plot that would include the estimated missing studies as black dots as we can see here which is only one dot that is added as opposed to all these other white dots which are the studies of our analysis itself and a radial version of this funnel plot is also included here. In addition, a normal QQ plot that can be used to assess departure from normality is also included and we can see that the uh, assumption of normality is violated here. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.